Now, there's been a debate for the last few years regarding whether the London taxi knowledge is going to become obsolete because of satellite navigation. No, it won't. Plain and simple, no, it won't. I was reading an article recently in the Evening Standard, their online version, and this uh, columnist wrote something about cab drivers now being obsolete because of satellite navigation. What utter rubbish, utter rubbish. Satellite navigation has been out for quite a few years now, and it's not done anything to make the knowledge obsolete in any way whatsoever. Even back when I did the, um, when I passed my test, I remember we were all sitting in a room, all the cab drivers that have literally just passed their test, and one of them should have been quite happy that he passed, asked the chief examiner, what's going to happen with satellite navigation? I've just spent four years of my life doing the knowledge. Is it going to make it obsolete? And I pointed out, no, it won't. And I listed some of the reasons. And here are some of the reasons. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple of the a couple of the silly little reasons first. Say, for instance, your car gets broken into and you get your, your unit stolen. Okay? Say, for instance, your unit breaks. Okay? Right, then we move on to loss of signal. Big time. I've just gone through the Blackwall Tunnel. You would have got a loss of signal there. And you would you could get a loss of signal anywhere. Um, that could cause big disruption and uh, there you go. Um, next we move on to um, rush hour hotspots. Now, black cab drivers driving in London for many years have learned what are the best routes to take. If there's a lot of traffic around, especially at rush hour, say for instance on the Strand, a cab driver will look and say, okay, Strand's busy, I will go around the back way. Wellington, Henrietta Place, Chandos Place, come out onto Trafalgar Square that way. Things like that, things that satellite navigation cannot do. And then another one similar to that, say you're driving, your satellite navigation is taking you straight ahead and you come to whatever, roadworks, a traffic accident and the road is closed and you are, you've got more than one option ahead of you. Now normally you'd think, no problem, satellite navigation will take me the way I want to go. I'll turn left and then it can redirect me. But, in that, but say this particular situation, turning left is the road that takes you onto a, a dual carriageway or something and takes you back on yourself by five miles. The cab driver would have known that the quick answer would have been turn right. Or it might have required you to do a U-turn and go back the way you came and found another route. Yeah? And then if you do turn left and you need to take an immediate quick left, right, left, right, the computers, the sat nav satellite navigation, is n there's no way it's going to be able to keep up with that. Okay, so um, what about if somebody gets in a customer and says, can you suggest something like a cheap hotel? Somewhere that a hotel is about 50 quid, 60 quid. I can. The Gresham Hotel. Yeah, just off Tottenham Court Road. I can do that. Satellite navigation can't do that. What about if a customer gets in and says, we're going to such and such. On the way, we need a cash point. And then we need a shop that does booze. And then, oh, I'm feeling hungry. Take us to a McDonald's at three in the morning. Okay? The satellite navigation isn't going to be able to do that in a million years. Right. Um, there have been several tests over the years where the satellite navigation has been put up against a black cab driver and as far as I know all of these tests have always been beaten by black cab drivers. I've even read a report in uh, Reader's Digest, they did this little study, they set three drivers out from Land's End to John O'Groats. One of them had satellite navigation, one of them had maps and one of them was only allowed to use road signs and asking people the direction. Well get this, satellite navigation came last, roadmaps came second, and people asking the way, the drivers asking the way, got there first. Right? Um, these are just a few of the problems that, uh, well, some of the, the few of the reasons why satellite navigation is not going to over, overtake the knowledge or going to make the knowledge obsolete. What I am saying is that I have satellite navigation. It's not a very handy tool because I'll give you, for instance, in my case, say for instance somebody gets in the car, they say to me, take me to the Connell Hotel. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, and gone. He's going, you can't, right, Connell Hotel. Um, what streets are on? I don't know, you're the cab driver. That'll be your standard response. If you get your street, be like, Carlos Place. Enter. Wait for the car, wait for the computer to figure out the routes. And you know, all the while the customer will be screaming at you, why am we going yet? Why am we going yet? Um, and then there's the internet on your mobile phone. I recently got an internet enabled mobile phone, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, 
I had to find a restaurant called um, um, Osteria Basilica. And uh, the customer, three Germans got in and they, they gave me this, said Osteria Basilica, Kensington Road. And I thought for a second, so it was a bit of my my knowledge and using the internet. And these customers, and I said, I thought about it, I thought, that's strange, I've never noticed a restaurant on there and there aren't really many any restaurants on Kensington, Kensington Road. So I got the, the internet phone out, checked it, and it was on Kensington Park Road. So all of these tools, satellite navigation and mobile phones with internet are all, I think, need, all need to be used in conjunction with the knowledge. But the knowledge, the understanding of how London works, the being able to um, uh, figure out things that computers can't do, such as, you know, even today a customer said to me, can you take me to Leamington Spa Villas? Thought for a second, thought, do you mean Leamington Road Villas? And she went, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, a computer can't do that. So we need all three, internet, sat nav, and knowledge. The knowledge will never be beaten. It's the best thing. We are the best drivers in the world. We've got the, the best system for teaching drivers in the world, and it will never be surpassed.